Hello, and welcome to Got Clutter, Get Organized, The Conversation. Today, I'm here with Jennifer Schweitzer, and we're going to talk about the upcoming holidays, how sometimes you're feeling overwhelmed, anxious. So, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here. So before we get started into the conversation, I would love for you to share with the listeners, but also those watching, what made you decide to become a life coach, but also focus sometimes on the stress and anxiety that we feel? Yeah, so I have um, a lot of experience, almost 20 years of experience in the helping profession. I'm a social worker. Um, I help people for a living. And that leads to a lot of stress in my career. Um, and so, you know, I, I found myself about three years ago just kind of going through the motions of my job, you know. There wasn't a whole lot of joy. There wasn't a whole lot of excitement about what I was doing anymore. And I learned, you know, look, now look, <clears throat> looking back, I learned that I was in a cycle of burnout. And, you know, so all of that stress and anxiety was just kind of building in me and building and building. And I wasn't doing anything about it. And so <clears throat> I I kind of just crashed, you know, that that like thought of a train track and, you know, you're like going off the rails. Like that was me. I felt like, you know, things just, this isn't why I got into this profession. This, I, am I really helping people in the way that I'm supposed to? And so um, it kind of led me to a phase of a personal development, which I had never really done before. And I read a couple books and I was like, you know, this sounds like way more up my alley than what I'm doing. And I kind of pivoted and I started taking coaching classes. And that is what kind of launched my coaching career. Mm, and thank you so much for the pivot, Jennifer, because now we are in the midst of holidays, yeah. anxiety. I mean, you look at the, whether you look like in a window at a store, online, on TV, you hear the conversations. What are some of the things that just kind of really kind of make us so anxious and stressful during that holiday yeah. season? Well, yeah, and that's such a great question. And I know something for me, you know, even just driving through my small town, it is October right now. And people have Christmas trees on their front porch. They have their Christmas lights up. And I'm thinking, oh, my goodness, it's only October. How are people, you know, organized enough to start thinking about this now? I'm thinking about October 9th and maybe October 10th. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I think I think that just the thought of feeling behind you know, there's so many people out there that will say, oh, I have my holiday shopping done. And, you know, and then I'm I'm back here thinking, geez, I haven't even started or thought about it. And so I think that that brings up a lot of anxiety for people. And then, you know, I think the biggest, one of the biggest factors is loss, you know, grief and loss. And, you know, I think that that hits you at a different time, a different way during the holidays. You know, you're, you're missing someone extra. And, and so I think that, you know, there's so many different factors that could potentially bring up anxiety for folks. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and you're so right. And even sometimes in the conversations I have, people are like, so how are you decorating? And I'm thinking, well, you know, I have a small space. I don't have a lot of storage. So mm -hmm. what are you getting a tree? Is that the other? And I'm like, wait. And then I'm starting thinking, well, should I get a tree? Do I need a tree? And I'm like, no, Janet, you don't need a tree because you don't have any place to store it. So mm -hmm. you're right. It's like all those things. And it's like, and mm -hmm. it seems like the, 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 the holiday I guess, push starts so much earlier. I mean, you could be in September. It could right. be 90 degrees where you are. Yep. And all of a sudden you're seeing like, oh, the, the Christmas decorations. Yeah. So what are some of the things that we can do that can kind of help us relieve the anxiety and the stress as we get closer mm -hmm. and closer to the holiday season? Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest one is taking care of ourselves. You know, I think that we forget that, you know, we, the holidays have turned into like that keeping up with the Joneses and going out and, you know, buying things that might be outside of your budget or, you know, overdoing it in certain areas. And it's just like a reminder, you need to take care of yourself. You need to set healthy budgets that you can kind of fit into. And, and remember, like, it's okay to, to be a little selfish during that time. It's okay, you know, 
if something is too much for you, it's okay to say no. It's okay to, you know, back off or it's okay to not engage in those conversations. You know, taking care of ourselves is such an underrated um, piece of advice, but I think that it's so important to know, like, you know, here's what I'm capable of doing and here's how I'm going to execute it. Having a, a good plan going into the holidays, I think can alleviate a lot of stress. And, you know, you are right. And sometimes you do have to put yourself at the top because I remember I would go visit relatives mm -hmm. and they would have something planned each and every day. Yes. I was there. And then yeah. when I would come home for a couple of years, I would always get like a cold or something and, I'm mm -hmm. thinking, and I would be exhausted and tired. Mm -hmm. So then yeah. I started just coming home a little bit earlier so I could rest. But yeah. it was, And I told them, I said, you know, I know you miss me. I miss you too, but hey, we could sit here and watch a movie. We don't right. have to go to the tree trimming, the tree decoration, the cookie right. making. It's like every single day. So you're right. We do have to take care of ourselves and we do have to slow down. So we do that. Yes. Yeah, slowing down it, you know, because you said it exactly, you know, you came home and you are feeling exhausted and then you might get sick and like, it's just, that's not how you want to spend your holidays. And so there's more anxiety around like, okay, how am I going to feel when I get home? And, you know, just taking care of yourself in the moment and really thinking about what do I need you know, just to make it through, just to get through. And, and I think that that's so important. So, um, Jennifer, I ask all my guests, how do they stay organized? Whether it's your home, your office, your life, because I know you've got your business, you've got your personal mm -hmm. life. So how do you manage things? You know, that's, it's funny that you asked that t today because, you know, it is uh, no school today. And I was shooing a four-year-old out of this room prior to getting on the call. So some days, I don't stay organized and some days I'm flying by the seat of my pants and I give myself grace to do that every now and then. But, you know, I really, I, the way that I stay organized is I actually use a, a productivity kind of type. It's called the ABCs of productivity. Um, and it's my coach uh, actually implemented this for me and it's identifying what my priorities are. Um, they're, they might be business goals, they might be personal goals, and those are my A tasks, and I'm getting those done every single day, no matter what, like somehow fitting those in my day. And I'm fitting them around some of those meetings and schedules that I already have in place. And then I'm looking at, you know, what can be pushed off? What can I wait until the end of the week for? Do I need a brain dump? Do I need, you know, because as an entrepreneur, I'm sure you're, you're aware, like your brain is going all the time and I need somewhere to put my idea, my, my fantastic and great ideas. I need somewhere to put them down so they're out of my head. So, um, and also looking at what can I delegate and what can I eliminate? And so I'm really kind of focused in on the ABCs of productivity every single day. What do I need to get done? What can I push off and what can I get rid of and get off my plate? And I'm glad you m mentioned the delegation part, because I think sometimes people don't look at that and they think, oh, I can't have anybody do it the way I want to. But sometimes it's looking at your time and your energy, because I have like a few little projects I want done around the house. And then I realize, you know what, I know somebody who's really good at decorating. Yeah. I can have her do those little projects, yeah. what I want. And then I won't have to worry about them and they won't be here, right. you know, next, next six months. <laughs> exactly. And then you can focus on the things that are moving you and move, just moving you forward towards what your goals are. Well, Jennifer, this has been a wonderful conversation and I hope we can have it again. Cause I know, you know what anxiety and stress hits us at all times of the year, <laughs> depending on what's going on in our lives. So yeah. how can people connect with you? Yeah, so you can find me on the web at www.kindfulnesscoaching.com or on Instagram at kindfulnesscoaching. And of course, those watching and listening, will there'll be links to all how you connect with Jennifer in the show, show notes. My goodness, See, this is what happens when you get congested and get a cold. But oh, Jennifer, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure.